Published time, the 3rd of May 2018 15 12 Edited time, the 4th of May 2018 7 13 Another election, another perfect opportunity to bust out a dog photo. Twitter is exploding with pooches hitting the polls, from barking to the Isle of Dogs, Canary Wolf to Wolverhampton, the canine constituency is out in force asterisk. The two major parties had their fair share of good boys ready for pats at the polling station. London's current mayor Sadiq Khan snapped a kickpick with first-time voter and four-legged cutie, Luna. Luna wasn't alone in choosing to vote left. Meet Digby, he might look a bit rough but he's happy to wear his true colors on his sleeve. So who is voting Tory? Judging by the blue of his ball, we're going out on a limb here to assume this little fella is casting a vote the conservative way. Oh, and would you look at that, his owner works for the BBC. Coincidence? These two good boys are all ready for some canine canvassing. Whoever said local politics couldn't look cute. Reserved yet a little bit wild, one has to wonder if these two may have rather conservative values, a la UKIP, if they really were allowed to make important, informed political decisions. Of course, this is pure speculation on behalf of Hermione and Guinness world record holder Hagrid, the larger hound, who stand proud at their local election booth. This pooch doesn't want anything to do with its surrounding land masses, whether that be the EU or the physical ground just like UKIP. It would rather dangle on the edge nearby but not actually get involved. How apartment. Although some constituencies do have UKIP candidates, in general the party, including Nigel Farage and Henry Bolton, appears to have limped away quietly. This good boy just wants the lesser of the collection of idiots, or politicians, to get into local government. Moderate Lib Dems are the only party fighting to keep Britain open, tolerant and united, after all, so we'll assume that's who this pupper cast has voted for. Wallace is voting for the Greens, so don't let his silky black coat fool you. He loves the environment and his fellow creatures, including a very down-to-earth tortoise who also hit up a polling booth, just for the banter or to cast a vote for the planet. Who knows? Standing up for our war veterans, the Democrats and Veterans Party are there to protect those who need it most. Kind of like this little guy, who apparently stood up to a German Shepherd despite his minuscule size. Wonder if he would have voted for the Dem Vets, or if he would have scarpered at the word, vet, even the monster raving loony party came out in droves for the local government elections, just like some of the more kooky hounds, like Fraggle Karage. What a name for a dog that looks like a wild, roaming piece of KFC, or even this roly-poly good boy out in style, all in the name of democracy. Not all were thrilled with the party vanguardism and democratic centralism rife in today's local government. Potentially, communist canines were quite literally pissing on democracy at the polls today, so take that local government, asterisk dogs do not have the physical, emotional, or mental capacity to form demonstrate either the intent or desire to vote for a political party. RT does not insinuate that any of these dogs voted, and if they did, who f